today. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to make a rocking chair. We're going to use popsicle sticks to make this rocking chair, and I'll show you the steps and and how to do it. So that's what we're going to have on the agenda before we go to <clears throat> that process. Uh, I'd like to ask you to uh, to like if you like the program today. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you find this helpful. And uh, if you want to contact me, you can do it down below um, with a comment. Or, and if you'd like to contact me directly, it's at one petite street at gmail.com. So let's get on with our project of making a rocking chair with popsicle sticks. So the first thing we need to do is to cut the pieces that will um, make up our rocking chair. And um, so we'll start off. We have two pieces here that are uh, 4 and 1 16th. And on the bottom of them is um, marked off a 3 fourths. These, this is the back um, uprights, and then part of the part of the back is these pieces, which are four inches, and then we have one that's four and five sixteenths. Those will make up the back, as I show you here. They'll make up these pieces back here. This with these, and then. We have next to them these two pieces, and they are <coughs> the front uh, uprights, and then we have these pieces which hold together the frame. Uh, that would be right here, and a couple back here. I, yeah, I haven't finished. This needs another coat of stain, but a couple back here so those will will hold up the um, and also back here those pieces and then we have um, these are the arms that go on the arms right here and this pieces of the seat and then this piece goes to hold up you can see that there this piece goes in here to hold the arm up. So these are um, these pieces right here are two and nine sixteenths. These each are two and a quarter. These here are one and seven eighths. And these pieces here are uh, one and thirteen sixteenths. And these are three fourths. And of course, the width is all the same because it's the the. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the the front and back uh, pieces that uh, that go here. Oops, go here and right here, and they hold the thing together. So we'll start with um, with those, and um, I'll be right back when I got those set. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, glue the supports on the back. This one goes uh, at this level on those marks. And put that there, and then make sure we line them up with those marks. And then above it, 
on the back. We'll glue those, the other one at uh, two inches. The top of it will be at two inches. So we'll do that right here and right over here. I don't have that marked, but hopefully it will be close enough. So then we put those on there. Two inches. Make sure it's squared up. And we can kind of hold it in place if we need to with our magnets. thusly and while that is of drying we can also do the front one and its support and we'll take one of these and we'll put some glue on it here and here and we'll put that like that and this one right there make sure they're kind of perpendicular and um, so that's what we can do at this point. We'll be back in a little bit because those need to dry before we can go on. So now that the glue is dried, we're going to work on putting the additional upright pieces. And we're going to put these three like this. that our upright pieces are in place. So I'll go ahead and glue those in place and then be right back. So we have those pieces in place and we have one more piece that we're going to put across here and we'll glue that on so that it um, will be a support for connecting the front and back uh, connecting like this so we'll go ahead and glue that on and return so this is when having uh, the magnets really comes in handy because now we're going to um, take and glue this in position and it will hold it there while the glue dries. So I'm going to put a little glue on here. Make sure I'm doing that right. Yes, glue on there. and we'll set this up and we'll put glue on this section here and we'll take our pieces to fit in there and get it adjusted in the right space
And we'll take another one and glue it in place. so that it's held up on both sides. We'll slide that in there. Make sure it's kind of square. <laughs> and there we go. And now we'll let that dry. And uh, then we'll put the rest of the seat in. And some other parts. So we'll be back. Let it dry. So I have glued the other parts of the seat in place. I have one more piece to put in, in the middle. We'll put some glue on it. I'm not sure that I cut this one the right length, but we'll see if it'll fit in there. If not, I'll have to go and cut another piece. That glue is just a little bit wet, so I can move these around. And there we have the seat. So the next thing we'll do is to put the arms on the, the seat. And uh, for that, we have these two pieces. And they go on to support the arms. So I'll put one on. It goes right here, right up flush against that so that the arm rest can rest on it and be glued in place. And we'll do the other one. over here and then we'll take the arms see I need longer ones let's see if this one will work and it seems to me I need to cut my arm just a little bit longer so I will cut those and then we'll be back so in order to soften up our popsicles so that they'll bend we're going to put them in a microwave and uh, we'll Put them in the microwave for about, eh, we'll do four minutes so that they get nice and hot and then they will bend hopefully. So when they're ready, we'll uh, show you how. So um, I found that when I used those nails, it left uh, rust marks on the so this is another way. This is a um, peanut butter top and I have them in there with clips and I think that will work as another way. 
So, um, <clears throat> we've had our runners in this setup, which I think worked very well. So we, uh, we use this, remembering to uh, make the, the, the rockers for the rocking chair and we're ready now to uh, glue on the rockers and we have this back about I'd say five eighths of an inch back and that's where we'll glue it. So let us do that now. Glue on the runners. We'll take and put some some glue on here and here where we're going to put those and we'll put some glue on the bottoms of these pieces of the rocker we'll put the glue there there and we will Put this on here. And on there. Maybe a little bit further forward. And on here. there we have them glued on we will let the glue dry and we will, rocking chair will be complete Oop. back a little bit like that. Before I forget, I wanted to add uh, that there is a what I call Popsicle Project Playlist and it shows some of the other things that uh, I've made with Popsicles. Uh, again, I call it the, uh, the lumber, the available lumber to make things for dollhouses. So you might want to check that uh, list out. There's a, a few other projects there that I have made. Thanks for joining with me today as we did this project of making a, a rocking chair. And actually it me a couple days. I uh, had to figure out how to do some things. Um, and if you'd like to uh, make one of these rocking chairs, of course, um, a list of it. A list will be down below. Uh, I'll try and include these directions for cutting the different pieces. And as you uh, put it together, you can watch the video and see how it's done. Um, but if you'd like uh, to have a kit to do it, the only thing uh, that you'll really have to do except to glue it together is to uh, form your rockers. And uh, you can find that kit on Etsy. Uh, we have a, a store there, our Etsy shop, which is unique vintage um, chest. And uh, so you can find that. We'll have the uh, contact or the uh, address down below. And so encourage you to do that and um, maybe you find some other things there. I um, want to also uh, just share with you that as uh, I say goodbye today, I want to urge everyone to kind of help one another out. Um, the economics are not as good as they used to be, and there's always that threat of war. And so uh, cheer one another up, and. Um, 
Don't forget to be in prayer for one another as we go through these times. Till next time, uh, may you be blessed and happy.